In unit 1.4, we're going to take a look at comparing numbers. We're going to also look at even and odd numbers. In this slide, we're talking about greater than and less than. So when students work on these problems, they always look at the number that's in the greatest place value. So here we have three tens and four tens. So when they look at that, they realize that three tens is less than four tens. So they will say 36 is less than 42. In the next set of numbers, we have 42 compared to 36. Again, they will look at four tens, three tens. They know that four tens is greater than three tens. So they will say 42 is greater than 36. Now we have the number 22 compared to the number 28. Two tens, two tens, okay? Those are the same. Now we need to go to the ones place. Two ones, eight ones. Two ones is less than eight ones, so they will say 22 is less than 28. Now they'll look at 67 and 62. We've got six tens, six tens. We need to go to the ones place. Seven ones compared to two ones. Seven is greater than two. Therefore, 67 is greater than 62. In the last set of numbers, we have three tens, three tens, eight ones, eight ones. Students look at that and they realize that 38 is equal to 38. Let's go ahead and take a look at even and odd numbers. When we look at even and odd numbers and determining them, one way we can do it is drawing out the number that we're talking about. So we're going to take a look at the number 17, and I'll draw 17 circles in partnerships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That last circle doesn't have a partner, so 17 is an odd number. So I'll say odd, and then I'll say that it has no partner. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the number 22. So I'll draw out 22, 22 circles in partnerships. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. They all have partners. 22 is an even number. And the reason is that they all have a partner. So students can show it that way. It's really easy. There you go. Now we're going to take a look at a word problem. Jim has 21 cars. Meg has 27 cars. Who has more cars? How do you know? Students can write a comparison. 21 compared to 27. When they look at this, they'll go ahead and look at the tens. Those numbers are the same. They'll need to look at the ones place and they'll see that 21 is less than 27. If they want to, they can also write it with 27 first, and then they'll say that 27 is greater than 21. Finally, they'll write a sentence saying, Meg has more cars because they need to answer that question. Who has more cars? Meg has more cars. And it's done. So that's an overview of unit 1.4.